Douglas Hanks, uh, Stony Creek, South Gippsland, um, Victoria. Uh, the main enterprise here is a 440 cow dairy farm. We also run a 300 head beef property. We have a Hustler 700. Um, we feed out anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 round bales a year, being silage, uh, 4x4s, and round bale hay, which are 6x4s. So it does a variety of both those. We've had the Hustler now for five years. We haven't broken any bearings. Um, we haven't replaced any chains. It's still as good as the day it was when we got it. We, we haven't needed to spend any money on it. Um, even though we employ two people that like to drive machinery that they don't own, so they don't look after it as well as what you would look after it yourself. It's been a very robust machine. Um, well, we, with our turnout paddock, it is very undulating. We have rolled other machines over in the past because the way that the, um, the, the bale sits in the wagon, they can move to the side and then put pressure on the outside. The Hustler has never tipped over once, never even looked like tipping over. Even with the bale, the second bale on the back, even though that's up a lot higher than a lot of the other ones, it doesn't want to tip over. It, it, it sits on the ground very firmly. So you always pick it up, and then when loading it into the front, never have we lost a bale that's gone over on its flat so that we can't feed it out because it, it sits every bale in the, in the wagon in the exact spot that it's meant to be. Yeah, nothing is compared. And it's been as reliable as what the Hustler has been, and we'll be definitely getting a Hustler the next time we trade up.